Hello everyone! Kumusta po kayo? I hope that you're all doing good. Recently, I have seen the news about the Balikbayan family who were denied their flight to the Philippines by an airline company. They are from Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada and they wanted to travel to the Philippines for a vacation. When their tickets were checked by the airline staff at the airport, they were told that they could not stay longer than 30 days in the Philippines because while the spouses were Philippine passport holders, their two minor kids were Canadians and therefore they were holding Canadian passports. Accordingly, the family was compelled to have their return tickets rebooked to an earlier date spending at least 3,000 Canadian dollars for it so that they could just take their flight. But when they arrived in the Philippines, the Philippine immigration officer stamped the passports of these minor kids with one year stay, visa free. Under the Philippine immigration law, passport holders from countries that are included in the list of the executive order number 408 countries or EO 408 countries may enter the Philippines visa-free and may stay for not more than 30 days. Executive Order Number 408 lists the countries whose citizens are allowed entry in the Philippines without need of a visa and to stay in the Philippines for a period not longer than 30 days. I would like to assume that this was the basis of the airline staff in initially denying the family of the opportunity to take their flight. But the case of this Balikbayan family is different. Under the Balikbayan program, as provided under RA 6768, as amended by RA 9174, the kids who are Canadian citizens and Canadian passport holders are also considered as Balikbayans. The law states that the term Balikbayan shall mean a Filipino citizen who has been continuously out of the Philippines for a period of at least one year, a Filipino overseas worker, or former Filipino citizen and his or her family, as this term is defined hereunder, who had been naturalized in a foreign country and comes or returns to the Philippines. The term family shall mean the spouse and the children of the Balikbayan, who are not Balikbayan in their own right, traveling with the latter to the Philippines. So it is very clear that the foreign spouse and the foreign children of the Balikbayan, as long as they travel with their spouse or parents who are Balikbayans, they are considered also as Balikbayans and they are entitled to the same rights and privileges of a Balikbayan. And among these privileges is to travel to the Philippines without need of a visa or visa free and to stay in the Philippines for a period of one year. It is found under Section 3 of the law which states that the Balikbayan and his or her family shall be entitled to visa-free entry to the Philippines for a period of one year for foreign passport holders with the exception of restricted nationals. One more very important thing, in the case of a Balikbayan, a return ticket is not even required. Based on Resolution Number 160-D Series of 2022 issued by the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Diseases of the Philippines, which amended the previously issued IATF Resolution Number 160-B, foreign spouse and or children of Filipino citizens and former Filipino citizens with Balikbayan privilege under Republic Act Number 9174 including their foreign spouse and or children who are not Balikbayans in their own right and are traveling with them to the Philippines are accepted from the requirement of a valid return ticket. Well, so far I haven't seen any subsequent issuance that has repealed or modified that resolution. It was mentioned in the news that the airline company has already apologized and even promised to refund the expenses for the rebooking. Indeed, we cannot expect all airline staff to be well versed of the laws of the many countries, including the Philippines. But we cannot leave that obligation to them. We need to know our own laws so that when we are confronted with a similar situation, we know our rights and privileges as stated under the law and consequently we can adequately 
assert them. Others might ask, aren't those kids also dual Filipino citizens because their parents are both Filipino citizens? Well, legally speaking, they are, but they need to have the proper documents to present when they travel. I have already discussed dual citizenship by operation of law in this video. I hope that you will watch that video. I hope that those who are planning to travel to the Philippines will have a safe trip, enjoy, have fun, and have a meaningful vacation in the Philippines. I would like also to hear your thoughts and reactions on the topic that we have just discussed. Please feel free to drop your comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so. And don't forget to click on that notification bell icon so that you will get notified of our future videos. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. I will see you in my next video. Ingat po kayo!